These fungi munch on plastic. Scientists analyzed how microfungi behave in this lake in northeastern Germany and saw they thrive on some plastics when there's no other carbon source to feed on. Out of 18 strains, four were particularly hungry. Our fungi could exclusively grow on some of the synthetic polymers and even form biomass. This is exceptional because uh, it clearly demonstrates that uh, these fungi are quite capable in degrading the synthetic polymers. The hope is the insight could help tackle the problem of millions of tons of waste polluting oceans each year. The team said they believe the microbial plastic destroyers could be used in facilities with controlled conditions, such as sewage treatment plants. The so-called hungry strains made especially good use of polyurethane, which is used to make construction foam. Polyethylene, which is used in plastic bags and packaging, took longer to degrade. Fungi had the most difficult time with microplastics from tire abrasion, largely due to additives like heavy metals. Still, scientists warn it will take more than fungi to address the world's plastic use. I would suggest to produce less plastics and release less plastic into the environment. Hans Peter Grossart is head of the research group. I don't think this would be a final solution because adding more of something into an environment would cause additional problems and may destroy the entire ecosystem. Grossart says he believes the fungi have adapted to the vast amounts of plastic carbon in the environment. Their enzyme activity heavily depends on external conditions, such as temperature or micronutrients. A European Plastics Producer Association says some 430 million U.S. tons of plastic were produced worldwide in 2021. That's up from nearly 2 million U.S. tons in 1950. Less than 10% of plastic waste is recycled worldwide.